Welcome to the Burden and Blessing Podcast, a study and discussion forum on the truth of God's Word. Our Word of the Week takes an in-depth look at important Bible words so we might increase and deepen our understanding of God's Word of Truth. We pray that these brief studies will enable you to get more out of your daily reading and hearing of God's Holy Word. You're listening to the Burden and Blessing Podcast. I'm Pastor Mark Tiefel. We are starting a new segment here at Burden and Blessing. We're going to call it 40 Bible Passages of Hope. And what we're planning to do is go through the next 40 days and look at a simple Bible verse each day, give a little bit of a conversational commentary on it just for a couple minutes, and hope can instill some hope in you from God's Word. So joining me in this new project is Pastor Neil Radical. And Neil, start us off with our first passage. We'll be reading from Psalm 10, verse 17, from the New King James Version. Lord, you have heard the desire of the humble. You will prepare their heart. You will cause your ear to hear. As we reflect on this psalm, we remember that the first 50 psalms or so of the 150 are all geared towards prayers for the nation, songs to the Lord about the nation. You think about the days of David, about how they were afflicted by surrounding nations, afflicted with a lot of violence, afflicted afflicted with different diseases and plagues. And so we can rejoice that the psalmist is directing not the hearts of the people towards man, which is failable, but to a faithful God who hears the prayers. He says in verse 17 here that he causes his ears to hear. He turns those ears to us. And that idea there in verse 17 of you've heard the desire of the humble. That word there in the Hebrew could be translated afflicted. Those who are meek, those who are have been brought low. And certainly we want to be brought low in our day-to-day life so that the Lord is the one who lifts us up and exalts us, who prepares our heart to receive his peace of sins forgiven and peace of an eternal life with him in heaven. What do you think, Mark? Yeah, I completely agree with those thoughts. It's a it's a beautiful passage. What I really appreciate about it is it just the reminder that I need every day that it's not a bad place to be in a humble circumstance. The Lord says he looks upon the humble. He hears the desire of the humble. As you said, that can include people who are afflicted. And just in our day and age right now, going through this virus, being quarantined at home, not being able to go about our daily activities, feeling that pressing reminder of our own mortality and our own limitations. God says, that's not a bad place to be for the believer because I can be in control. I can lift you out of that. I can hear your prayers and bless you. And so none of us enjoys being in the humble position in the moment, but for the believer, there's great hope and comfort there because it means that God is in control. Let's pray about that. Dear Lord, you continue to hear our humble prayers. You have brought us low in seeing the sin in the world around us and the disaster that has been brought upon our lands and the world and how you are the really the one who provides a solution. Continue to prepare our heart to receive your word with eagerness, with meekness and humility, knowing that it is your word that always prevails in this life and in the life to come, where you have made us confident that you will come to take us to our eternal home with you forever. Be with us in your saving name, we pray, Lord Jesus. Amen. We encourage you to listen for a new word each week on Burden and Blessing Podcast, where we believe and confess that every word of God is true. Until next week, be assured that God's word is truth and is more precious than gold.